Hey everybody, Riot Mort here, back, PBE week, got another video for you. It's only 8.30 p.m., I got all my work done, I got the YouTuber early, I'm gonna get to sleep tonight, I can't wait. But the good news is, I got a sweet game for you here. I'm really happy with this one, so hopefully y'all enjoy this YouTuber. Uh, right away, I interested, I noticed Ram Kev in my lobby, so, you know, gotta say hi to good guy Kevin. He's one of the Kevins. So, uh, you know, gonna give him a little taunt there. And then get back to playing the game. Gotta love that social aspect of TFT, am I right? Am I right? Alright, more balance changes each day. Today's changes mostly nerfed things like Guild a little bit, Lux, things like that. Um, but otherwise, nothing too major. So, right away we get those two Vladimirs. But I will say also, a lot of the times this week when I'm playing, I'm like, well, I already did an Astral video. I really don't want to do another Astral video, so I'm not really looking to play Astral here again. Um, but we'll see what we hit. You know, if the game gives it to you, you gotta play it, you know? So, we'll see what we get. Hopefully everyone's having fun on the PBE. Generally, response has been pretty positive. Hopefully it stays that way. All right, item-wise, we get a Gargoyle Stone Plate here, which I'm always a fan of. I love Gargoyle Stone Plate early. Makes a solid front line even more solid. We also get that two Guardian setup here. Uh, both Zac and Nasus are quite good, so don't underestimate them. Um, in addition, we get the Malphite, which gives us the possibility of an early three Lagoon. Early three Lagoon means you can generate a little bit of extra econ, even if you're not gonna stick with it. And if you are gonna stick with it, you can get started on your score counter really early. Let me know how high a score you've gotten, by the way. Hit the Volibear. Now, part of me's thinking, okay, yesterday's video was Shimmer Scale. I really don't need another Shimmer Scale. Augment-wise, nothing too great here. So we grab the item grab bag for just a little extra power. Uh, one extra item is pretty solid for a tier one. I actually really like that augment. Uh, you can see here I sell the Volibear uh, because we hit the three Lagoon. So, and again, I probably wouldn't have sold the Volibear in a normal day, but we just played Shimmer Scale yesterday. So, because we got that two-star Nasus, though, with two Guardian, uh, we can go ahead and give him the Gargoyle Stone Plate. He's going to act as both our carry and our tank, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then, hopefully, we can start building up some stacks on our Sea Stone. Now, a blue buff or Shoujin on Talia would be best, but for now, what are you going to do? We also have this Ezreal here. Again, blue buff Ezreal is also quite good. So, we'll see what we do here. First fight looking pretty tough here. They also have three Lagoon. And they have that Zerat portal, which is really good early. So this fight's gonna be really close. We're hoping, all right, we take down the Jax pretty early. The other nice thing here is they're not on the Nasus. And if you watch Nasus, he kind of gets low. This is why Nasus is so powerful right now. He gets low, casts his spell, which gives him a flat amount of health. So it's even better than healing. Then when it ends, you'll notice he's back to full health because the missing health disappears. Very good spell. This is what makes NASA so strong. Thankfully, we come out ahead, win the fight, get some gold, and we're building up our sea stone stacks. All right, we hit the jacks. Now we're kind of like, man, sure wish I had that Volibear that I had sold. Uh, we've also got the two swift shot here. Two swift shot would probably give me a stronger board, but less econ. So for now, we're just gonna hold those. If we hit the two star Ezreal, maybe wanna put that in. For now though, we're hoping our two item Nasus. Keep in mind, nobody else on the board has two items. They're gonna be a little weaker than us, so we're feeling pretty good about our board right now. All right, next fight, somebody has one of the uh, Dark Flight ones, which means they're sacrificing unit, which means it's 4v3. We're not too worried. And sure enough, they all surround Nasus, which means he's doing that AOE magic damage. This is perfect setup for us. Nasus just rips through. Now, the one negative is the fight ends pretty quick. We only get a few sea stone stacks, but, you know, what are you going to do? All right, feeling good. By the way, Pac-Man music. Can I just say my theme song is basically all of the Pac-Man songs? Does that work? See, I'm, I'm more awake. I've got energy. It's only 8.30. And there's the Volibear! Oh my god, we've got it. All right. Obviously, look, three Shimmer Scale is better than three Lagoon. 
And sure enough, we get Mogul's Mail, which is huge. Now this Nasus is a beast. And so even if we're not going to stick with uh, Shimmer Scale for the rest of the game, like, this is going to generate more Econ. If you want if you want to generate Econ, this is the kind of start you want. We're going to power level, put in this. It's not a big deal, but since we're so far ahead, we may as well stay ahead. Keep that win streak, and oh my god, that's a two-star Nunu. Uh, now, we get lucky here with some fight RNG. If he had been on the Nasus first, we might lose this fight. But thankfully, because he wasn't, we're able to get enough ju damage on the Nunu that he's low enough that he doesn't get the true damage bite, and we're going to be able to win this fight. So that level paid off, and we got a little lucky with the fight RNG. Whew. Whew. Can't complain. All right. So now, again, we're kind of just kind of playing strongest board right now and waiting to see what, you know, steers us in a different direction. Might be an augment, might be a dragon, might be a four cost, maybe something like a spatula. So we're just, again, we're just kind of playing strongest board for now. Um, we're also looking at our items. We've got plenty of tank items. Something in the AP field might be pretty good. That Volibear might also give us Volibear too, so... You know, can't complain. We're gonna go ahead and take that. That's an Archangel if we want it later. Could be something else. We'll see. Uh, we hit a Zippy. Zippy's always tricky, because Zippy's very good here. But I would have to lose Guardian. And it just costs a lot. Now, the nice thing is, though, it does give your entire team, as of this patch, I believe it's 8 armor and MR. So, can't complain about that. Yeah, honestly, I don't think that's the right call here. This feels better, gets us to 12, lets our Econ go up. I don't think it's really worth playing a Zippy here. The only alternative would be move all those items over to Zippy, but then we lose Shimmer Scale, so that's not really worth here. And again, you can see this Nasus damage combined with the healing, combined with everything. This is a good start and shows that power of that two-star Nasus. Meanwhile, Volibear's punching in the back. Uh, funny story. So this video will go out 6 in the morning tomorrow. The patch notes for the next day will be shortly after. Found an issue today where all the changes we were trying to make to Volibear were done to the wrong file. So all of Volibear's stats were still live. So tomorrow, Volibear is getting a very large buff and explains why we had so much trouble in yesterday's video. <laughs> so today we learned. Now this is an interesting choice. Do you play two Volibears, which is a more powerful champion, or do you play a Volibear in a set, which is a weaker champion, but then you get the two Dragon Mancer? This is a tricky one. Because we have such a strong frontline, I kind of lean towards the two Volibears, but it's debatable. It's debatable. Uh, we're starting to keep ourselves open to a four Dragon Mancer option also. That's why we're holding on to these sets and Karmas. Ooh, this looks like another close fight. They have a Talia too, they have a Lux, they have a Zeri. They're pretty powerful. Their Lagoon stacks are already at 35. Thankfully, it looks like they're all attacking the Nasus. We got, again, good positioning here. And that Nasus is able to tank a lot of this. The Volibears are now hitting the back line. And again, some good positioning and good itemization gives us the win here. So we're feeling pretty good about win streaking through all this stage. Can't complain. All right, we hit a Nomzi. Nomzi is the mage variant here, which is possible, but it's pretty hard to go into mage this late when we have already been passing on the Vlads and the Lilias and stuff like that. So I'm kind of not feeling it this game, I think. Definitely something to consider, though. Again, we're looking for what are our items going to give us here. Not that it matters, but positioning was a little rough here. A Rengar? Nah, we're not playing Dark Flight. Getting a lot of gold, though. Another Zac? Okay, pair of Zacs. A high-skilled Zac is called a Pro Zac. Ha! Uh, static Shiv here is pretty good, especially if we know we're doing AP damage. Getting that shred is going to be really good. The two-star Zack is pretty big here. Uh, because we're at 42, if we level, we'll be at 30, which is pretty good. 
Gives us that uh, guild attack speed, and then we can put the Shiv on Twitch. Uh, Seraphine's also a champion that's really worth keeping an eye on. Kind of a good utility champion, like you're seeing here. Uh, we take out the Twitch, because that's going to give us Lagoon and Dragonmancer here. So we can get up to our, our 20 stacks and maybe get a little bit extra going on here. Uh, we sell the guild units for now. Don't know if we needed to. So now we're back to generating a little bit of extra Econ with the Lagoon. I believe 20 is two one costs. So sure enough, we get two Vlads. Woohoo! No one cares. Nasus is so tanky. Come on, you gotta get Nasus to 37, 38, 39. Nice. Two more gold. Making that two gold around for running Shimmer Scale early. All right, Augment Choices. This is where we're hoping to maybe get some direction. Where are we going? And what do we get here? Why Spending and Golden Ticket are both fun. It's a Prismatic on 3-2, though. This is where I like to use my reroll for something really good here. Ugh. Knife's Edge and Preparation are not great, but I've been meaning to test some Dragon Soul. So we're going to go ahead and take Dragon Soul. Dragon Soul gives you plus one Dragon, which means it's easier to get to that four Dragon, which gives you that basically Tactician's Crown. And now that we have a Zippy, we can start to consider something like Guild here. So let's drop the Lagoon, get this in. We have a Twitch in our shop. Hopefully we put in the Twitch here. Although it's not really worth putting in quite yet. So now we have two dragons. So this Zippy here is getting, you know, the 20 extra armor and MR. Zippy is interesting in that Zippy is kind of a tank, but also does some good damage. Kind of a mix. So I like Gargoyle on Zippy. It's a good item. So now we kind of have two tanks and not much damage. Ooh, a Psalm this early might hurt us pretty bad here. I'm really hoping the Psalm doesn't manage to kill us. Unfortunately, it looks like we're in a... Oh, that burst. Alright, I think our win streak's over. Nasus is trying his hardest. Zippy's back there, kind of like, poking. This is not looking good, though. Oh, Zippy gets a big hit there. Nope. We're only going to lose by the dragon. Can we get the Malphite down? Get the Malphite! Alright, got the Malphite. At least we saved two damage there. That Sohm, though. That Sohm did some damage. Alright, are we actually playing Karma here? I don't know if we're playing Karma here. Nope. Not playing Karma. Uh, because we've got the Dragons and the Dragon Soul, we're really looking at some sort of three Dragon comp. That'll give us four, which will give us the plus slot. Uh, Zippy with Guild is obviously really good. We could go something like Guild Dragons here, when we start to ditch the Shimmer Scale and the Guardians. That wouldn't be bad here. Again, big thing we're lacking right now is damage, but... On the other side, we see Woodland Charm. This person's got Mirage and two Nunu 2s. That's pretty scary. Now, since we lost one fight, we're okay with losing from here on out, so... Honestly, losses aren't going to be the worst thing. They are all grouped up, but... Oh, eats our Nasus. Alright, we're starting to fall off. Nasus... Kind of like Aatrox before, really good in stage two. Starts to fall off here. Oh, we got a kill there. Ah, oh, four unit loss, not great. The positive is it got us a carousel position so we could get a better carousel item. All right, every time I'm playing guild now, by the way, it is really hard to not go. Hey, do we see a, uh, a Rise or a Talon? Alright, Bow would give us Ginsu's. Uh, something AP related. Gunblade, Jeweled Gauntlet are all possibilities for the late game. When we start to consider what is our endgame dragon. Uh, looks like... Looks like we're gonna go the Jeweled Gauntlet route. Get some extra damage for now. That makes sense because we already have the Hand of Justice for the healing. So we can go like Hand of Justice, Jeweled Gauntlet, plus one on whatever our AP carry ends up being. Could be a Soam, Deja, Aurelian Soul. All right, and this kind of gives you a good sign of where we're at here. We're level seven and 50 gold already on three. Okay, that's a now Shen. How do I keep doing that? Feels like I keep doing that. All right, we're gonna have to ditch the Shimmer Scale if we're gonna do this. 
Okay. Alright, well we have four guild, and we have an Aoshen. Now Tempest, by the way, got a rework this patch, a very slight one, where instead of attack speed, you get plus damage. So plus damage on an Aoshen is pretty good. Now it does mean it's going to be harder to cast, so we're going to want something like a Shoujin to get us casting. Thankfully on the other side is Aphelios, who I think is very weak right now. And sure enough, that Aphelios can't really get through the Zippy, allowing Aoshin to do some big damage. But Twitch was actually the main carry anyway. And one more dragon, by the way, and that'll put us at four dragon. If we can get up to four dragon, we get that Tactician's Crown worth of spots, that plus one army size. Uh, Soam, we don't really need a Soam here. What we'd really like is like an Itis. All right, time to cut that for now. We can use Zack as a secondary carry. That puts us at 50. That gives us four Tempest, which is, again, more damage for our Aoshen. Allows us to put the Hodge on Aoshen, so not a bad comp here. And remember, three Dragon is now an extra 10% damage on top of the Tempest damage. So not too shabby. All right, on the other side, we see a Zeri 2 with AP items. Hopefully the Zeri misses our Aoshen. That's what we're really looking for. Big Tempest hit, although the shield coming from that Seraphine makes this rough. Go Zippy Go. Buy us time. Here comes the cast. Whew! Wipes the board. Nice. Again, feeling pretty good about this. Level 7, 50 gold, already have an Aoshen. Can't complain. Alright, leveling up. Deja isn't the worst here, but we'd kind of lose our front line, so not really interested. Graves for Lee Sin could work, but the thing to note, by the way, is Lee Sin got a change. Lee Sin's ability now does Magic Shred. Now, that being said, we already have a Static Shiv, so we don't need it, but that's one of the reasons why you're probably going to see Lee Sin and Ao Shen played together as opposed to, like, Graves. Because Graves isn't really providing much utility. Okay, two gloves. Could go IE. Alright, we're going to level up. See if we can find that Itis. An Itis or a uh, Siphon wouldn't be bad. Aurelian Soul. Shio For now, we can just throw in the Bard. That gives us five guild. That's a nice upgrade. Jace would be really big. Okay, we don't find a Jace, but we do find a Zippy 2. Zippy 2 is a big upgrade. That's a lot of extra health. So Zippy should be able to buy enough time. Really watch the Zippy. Again, Zippy's like kind of distracting, buys a lot of time for the guild. Also does those little tiny stuns. And honestly, he's quite tanky. So you can see here Zippy doing his thing, buying time. We get the Aoshen cast. Nice. This was also a big upgrade because now we have Bard in to help our Aoshen cast even faster. We get that mana per hit for the whole team. So Bard was a big pickup here. All right, last augment here. All right, Guildheart. We'll take that. Now we're at six guild. Now we're at seven. Look at that. Two Jaces in the shop. And there's our dragon. Okay, now look. We put in the Siphon. And we get a free slot here. So this is big. Finding that dragon was huge. Now again, we'd probably want that to be an Itis or a Terra. But for now, Siphon's going to work. So, feels good. Look at this. Seven guild, four dragon. We get an extra unit. We got a guild, guild of dragons going on here. Guild of dragons. I like this comp. Like I said, I think the thing to figure out here is we need a better secondary tank. Siphon's, Siphon's a little more damage than tank, and right now we can use more tank. But that 7 guild power is so much power here. That is a Soam 2 with blue buff. That's scary. Oh, the J-Salt. I really like that first J-Salt. Gives you so much power. Come on, Zippy. All right, here comes the J- or the Aoshen. Hit the back line. Nice. We got it. 
Ao Shen OP. I mean, it's more like seven guild OP, but you know. All right, we probably don't want to play five dragon. Five dragon. Oh, there we go. We got the Itis. The Itis is good here. Remember, we know it's Mogul's Mail, so we can just get that Mogul's Mail in. Feels good. If we sell the lease in, that can put us on 10 gold, work our way to 9. So now we're just looking for third items here. We could Thieves Gloves Jace. That wouldn't be the worst outcome. Um, but the other thing to note here is we're also getting towards the Dragon. And remember, now that there's Order Dragon and Chaos Dragon, sometimes it's good to leave that third item slot just in case you get like an IE or something like that. Or excuse me, a Radiant item. So... All right, Zippy. Oh, the big crit. Zippy hitting for 656 in the back line. It's disgusting. All right. Go, Aoshen, go. Woo. All right, by the way, look at Ramkev's board. Ramkev have a few Neelas getting really low here, 30 health, but has those loaded dice. What is Ramkev going to do with those loaded dice? I wonder... All right. Again, looking for something to go with our gloves here. Infinity Edge isn't bad. Okay, we're not getting Infinity Edge. Uh, could be another Hand of Justice. We could start building a Shojin. Shojin on Aoshen would be really good. Now that Shojin gives some AP, I think that item is very good. Could also go Archangel. What are we gonna go here? All right, Tier. Tia would give us another Hodge, half a Shojin. Half a Shojin, pretty good here. Okay. All right, let's watch the sidebar here. Ramkev went level eight. We saw a Nyla two. Something's gonna happen here. That's a little, that's another Nyla two. A Felios three on the sidebar. That's a third Nyla 2, which makes a Nyla 3 at 4-5. Oh god, Ramkev, what have you done? Somehow still has a loaded dice left, too. Okay, so that's in our lobby now. We now know Ramkev is in our lobby with a Nyla 3 at 4-5. That's not good. In fact, that is the opposite of good. That is very bad. Uh, now the entire lobby is skewed around that Nyla 3 existing. So, we need to start thinking if there's any hope of beating this Nyla 3. We're going to have to figure out how we protect our backline from it. So, things we need. Obviously, there are things like uh, Banshees, uh, Edge of Night. But otherwise, my Aoshen is just going to get smacked in one shot so also could really use a Sejuani but at this point we're running Bard so the odds of seeing a Sejuani are getting less and less by the second uh, at this point though we really want to level up hit that Aoshen 2 maybe our hope is if Aoshen 2 can get enough mana and cast before Nyla kills everything maybe we can kill the Nyla that's one of our hopes here but again we have to start planning around what the hell we're gonna do to avoid Ramkev's Nyla 3. So. All right, and again, we've got uh, Twitch lowering the MR of everybody with that shiv. Whew. Goodbye, enemy. Two people didn't make it to Treasure Dragon. So sad. All right, what's it going to be? It is going to be a normal one. Okay. So with this, we're kind of looking for uh, either items for our Jace or a third tank item for something like Zippy. Uh, not really interested in Zephyr. Okay, Bramble Vest. Bramble Vest is really important here because we know there's a Nyla. Nyla's an assassin. Nyla crits really good. And we also got the Shojin here. So can't complain about that. We get two key items here. But again, the Bramble, I think, is going to be really key on making sure that Nyla doesn't crit us. And we get a Banshee's Claw. So I think as far as Treasure Dragons go, that couldn't have been much better. We got two things to help us with the Nyla. That Banshee's and the Bramble. 
And we managed to get a Shoujin out of it. So that was a good treasure dragon. The more I think about it, that's just perfect. But yeah, look at that Nyla. That thing is uh, scary. The only hope we also have is like the rest of his board isn't great. Other than he does have Terra, which means Monolith is on that Nyla, so it's even harder to kill. Whew. I don't know. It's going to be rough. I really like our front line, though. We have the Itis with three amazing items, generating a little gold each round. And we have the Zippy. The Zippy with seven guild, which means it's sitting on like 70 armor and MR plus the gargoyles. Oh my god, that Some is big. Uh, if this Some gets a really big cast on us, we could be in trouble. Yasuo. Okay, here comes the cast. And Sohm's dead. Nice. Bung. Bing. The Shoujin really helping us get to that second cast even quicker. Nice. Gotta love it. Uh, Tyrant Swain, a little underpowered right now, getting a big buff tomorrow. Um, so I don't think we want to switch Itis for Tyrant Swain. So right now, we're again, we're really just trying to level up here. Lee Sin would give us Tempest 4. Uh, Ramkev is in our enemy pool, so we're going to have to position around a possible Ramkev encounter. Come on. Anyone but Ramkev. We're trying to avoid Ramkev. Uh-oh, that's Ramkev. Okay. Well, Nyla's on the other side, but Nyla does also have an RFC. Let's see here. And we fixed the bug where Nyla doesn't reset, so let's watch. Boom. 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 <laughs> Does Okay, we notice it does get stuck on the Itis because of that uh, Bramble, though. So that Bramble really saving us here. It can only save us for so long, though. Whew! Ow. 13,000 damage from that Nyla. Okay, well, that didn't work. And the scary thing here is Ramkev is level 850 gold. So Ramkev's going to get stronger. That's scary. We're gonna need to get to nine with as much gold as possible. We really need some two-star legendary dragons. Gonna go ahead and ditch the Jace for now for four Tempest. It should give us that extra damage. Whew. Some strong boards here while we're trying to level up. Uh, on the other side, aw, the little Woodland clone. The tiny little Nunu. Tiny little Nunu not working on ghost armies. Don't worry, I think Kent's going to try to fix that one. That's the hard thing about ghost army bugs, is each one is its own individual case. Alright, I think... Oh, Zippy! Zippy doing good! Alright, I think we'll get our next cast here. All right, on the item side, uh, I'm looking at that Edge of Night, and that Edge of Night is saying, "Hey, if Talia, or excuse me, if Nyla tries to one-shot my carry, that might protect us." So I'm really looking at that Edge of Night. Shroud is obviously okay too, but Edge of Night feels like the safer bet if we're gonna have any shot of taking down that Nyla. So we're gonna take the Edge of Night here. Again, slowly working our way here. I think 6-1 is when we go in. We're at 71 health. That's plenty of health for us to just sit and ride the wave. Hopefully we can make it, not take too much damage. If we're below 40 in two more rounds, that'd be pretty bad. Okay, someone else already has an Aoshen 2. That's a little scary because that means our odds of hitting Aoshen are pretty low. Also, by the way, we're now at 0% one cost odds. So the odds of us finding a Sejuani are a little low. <laughs> so that's not ideal. All right, well now we see the two three-star Nunus and we got hit with the Shroud. Ao Shen is so vulnerable to Shroud. Thankfully we have Shoujin and Bard, but by the time it goes off, most of our front line's already gone. What are we gonna get here? We got a few key kills, but not enough. Nunu eats a dragon. All right, not bad. Three unit loss. Oh, and one of them's the clone, so it's actually a two-unit loss? That's not bad at all. 
That's not bad at all. Ramkev still on a win streak, so... Again, we're looking at this lobby going, Ramkev is the threat. How do we beat Ramkev? That's really all we care about. Alright, with it being Jace 2, Jace is probably a little bit better than the Tempest. Thankfully, Ramkev's not in our pool. Whew, that board's getting strong. Not quite 9 yet, though. So... Alright, we have a Battle Mage crew. Oh, okay, this comp looks strong. Look at that Seraphine. That Seraphine is shielding their entire group. Their positioning's really good. The only thing is that they're going to get CC'd a bunch, but Seraphine's just going to keep shielding. That Redemption's going to do a lot of work. They've got three Mystic. We didn't actually do much damage to them. Wow. Yeah, this comp kicked our butt. So that that is not the kind of fight we want here. Whew, that's bad. All right, well, we made it, though. 44 health. Could have been a lot worse. Ramkev lost, though. We're pretty happy about that. We get an Idis. We get a Shivana. Another Edge of Night. That would allow us to protect two carries. That's really good. But yeah, again, we're seeing that Aoshen 2. They have four of the Aoshens. The odds of us getting our own Aoshen 2 are getting real low here. So we should start considering other options as well. This is why Shivana is a possibility here. These aren't the worst Shivana items, although Shivana's really going to struggle against the Nyla 3. Just doesn't have the burst to take that down. So, not ideal. Two Edge of Knights we need to use. Alright, level up. Do that roll down. Grab those legendaries. Bard 2. Soraka. No, oh, fine. Don't buy the Soraka. Aurelian Soul. Aurelian Soul is another dragon. Shivana, an Aurelian Soul, and an Aoshen. So now we're at one of each. We're out of gold. We can get in four Tempest for now. At this point, it's going to come down to which one do we two-star first, Aurelian Soul or Aoshen? We're kind of like, a perfect world would be Aurelian Soul, get rid of the Lee Sin. Okay, this is a crazy fight, by the way. They have Aurelian Soul 2, Soam 2, pretty good front line. But we have the Banshee's Claw, which really helps us quite a bit here. We managed to tank with our front line pretty well. Zippy doing a lot of distracting also. That Aurelian Soul doesn't have much damage items. And we managed to get it with the Bard ult, which remember, Bard 2 increases damage done. We win this fight. This is a fight that I don't think we were expecting to win. I think this is one of those kind of fights that players would go, nice balance, Keck W. But, uh, we take those. Yeah, player doesn't look too happy about losing to an Aoshen 1. So. Alright. Still looking for a dragon. Two-star dragon. Nope. We hit the Idis, but Idis isn't a big upgrade. Ramkev lost another fight, by the way. Somehow Ramkev keeps losing fights. That's good for us. Bad for Ramkev. We still have that other Edge of Night, and yes, I know it's sitting on the bench. It is sitting on the bench so that when we decide which dragon we're playing, we can pop the other items off. So, that is intentional, YouTube chatters. Alright, let's watch this Nyla in action. Okay. It was attacking the Jace. Okay, here come the resets. Reset, reset. Ow, ow, there goes my Aoshen. <laughs> now, interestingly enough, we see a bug here. Uh, and thankfully, this is why we play on PB. We test bugs. But the Nyla has stopped gaining mana. Uh, this bug got reported to the team. I hope it's fixed for tomorrow. I believe it is. Um, but kind of a little unfair for Ramkev here. But it's PB. It's why we test. That's why we find these bugs. All of a sudden, the mana comes back. And we can see the Nyla actually struggling a little bit, even in overtime, to one-shot that Idis. So we lose. But still have a shot here. Again, really looking for one of those dragons here. Okay, Aesol. Because we hit Aesol... Yep, we do the little dragon dance, get our extra slot. Now we can put the Edge of Night on. We don't need Shoujin. Aesol doesn't need Shoujin nearly as much. Especially if we're going to run two Evoker later, which... You know, we don't have to, but we can. 
We also don't need this Lee Sin, so we can put in Soraka for some extra healing. Give Soraka the Shoujin, that's a good use of that. And now, remember this fight where we struggled last time? Because they're more tanky stall, as long as we survive, Aurelian Soul is going to reach that bigger Black Holes case. Maybe we have a shot this time. Idis is doing some good tanking. Zippy also. Alright, Aurelian Soul didn't actually get hit that much, so we got pretty good there. Bardalt is perfect here. Here comes their second Aurelian Soul, or Aushin cast. Okay, Aurelian Soul, that is an Edge of Night diff. Edge of Night just saved our bacon. We would have lost that without Edge of Night, so that was huge. Lucky us. Third Edge of Night? You want to go three Edge of Nights? Uh, zippy item, realistically, here. Hmm. Morello? Morello Jace could work. Morello Jace, just so we finally have some anti-heal, because we don't have any anti-heal on the team. Oh, yes. Astral Orbs of one gold. Woohoo! So, can't complain about that. My music stopped. There we go. All right, rolling down. There's a world where we switch Idis for Terra here. That way we can protect our Aurelian Soul with that Monolith. That does make the tank weaker, though, because Idis is a better tank, just less utility. Overall, though, I think we're just going to decide against it. Having that Mogul's Mail is pretty nice here. We're up against the Ghost of the three-star Nyla. That's not good. Let's see how it goes here. Already on the Zippy. We got that CC. We got the Morello applied. Good Bardalt. We're trying. Okay, here come the Nyla resets, though. Edge of Night? Nope. Oh, God. Nyla win infinite. Nyla win infinite. That's not good. Oh, we're down to two of us. Okay. Now we're starting to plan because we see that it's just us and Ramkev, and we know it's an assassin comp. And if you've played TFT longer than, you know, a year, you know when it comes down to two players and one of them's an assassin player, there's one very obvious counterplay. So, again, still pretty unlikely, but we got to really watch this fight and hope. We're looking for that Soraka 2. Are we going to hit it? Come on. Hey, Soraka 2. All right, we got a position here. We got a position here. It's going to be close. All right, frontline everything, backline the zippy, and pray. Let's see how this goes. Watch the Nyla. Let's watch the Nyla, see what happens. That's going to be all that's what's on. All right, Nyla's attacking Zippy. Uh, gets chased off the Zippy, is now attacking Itis. Nyla is stuck on Itis, and Itis is getting healed by the Soraka. Itis is still alive. Another big Soraka heal. The fact that she got stuck on the Itis, I think we win this. Sure enough. Positioning, good items. We did it. GG. All right, Guild Dragon, hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow.